Hello and welcome to the first episode of my series where I preview the 2016 Sprint Cup season. I am the Sports Guru 716 and I hope you enjoy this first episode. Now on this first slide here I have the Go Fast Racing number 32 and the Premium Motorsports number 98. As you can see here Jeffrey Earnhardt is considered a rookie. He doesn't have much success in either Xfinity or the Truck Series and barely any cup experience. He more than likely will not compete for any wins. I believe Bobby Labonte will be driving the restrictor plate races, so I doubt that even Earnhardt could win a restrictor plate race because he won't even be in the vehicle. However, Cole Witt in the number 98, he has some mo much more experience in the Cup Series, Xfinity Series, and the Trek Series. He has shown that he can get things done in the Xfinity and Truck Series by finishing 7th and 9th in the points prior. However, in the Cup Series the last two years, he has finished 31st both years driving for Front Row Motorsports. He has had a lot of potential. He's a younger driver that really just hasn't gotten a very good shot and hasn't gotten a good shake in his career. He has the potential. I remember when he drove for the number 88 in the Xfinity series and he did do well in that vehicle so he deserves an opportunity in much better equipment than this he was out on the streets up until this week so hopefully he may be able to get a couple decent finishes out of this car Josh Wise was pretty decent last year got a couple decent runs in it had a lot of success through the internet finding sponsorship so hopefully Cole Witt can possibly capitalize on that as well because Josh Wise is a free agent. Now talking about sponsorships you have Jeffrey Earnhardt here and Jeffrey Earnhardt I think that's the only reason he's here is because of his last name he really hasn't shown much success although his equipment hasn't been that good regardless he really hasn't shown much success to even deserve this opportunity in the 32 in the cup series but it's more than likely because of his last name that he's here because of the sponsorship that he will get with it. So these two get teams, really minor teams, they'll be battling to just make races and hopefully maybe I'll get a couple top 25 finishes, top 30 finishes. Other than that though, I really don't expect these being more than just start and parts. And in the case of the new BK Racing driver, David Reagan, and the driver from last season, Matt DiBendetto, we have a little bit more experience in the 32 and 98. However, the, this team really has not shown any sort of success at all. So that's why it's in this first video. I will be starting from probably the start and parks till I get to the end, which I believe will be either Haas or Hendrick. So every day there will be a video. And in this video, you see you have David Reagan. And David Reagan has a couple wins in both the Cup and Xfinity series when he was with Roush Racing. Now, the advantage that Burger King Racing has with David Reagan, David Reagan has a ton of experience in the Cup Series. He's driven for big teams and he's driven for small teams like Front Row Motorsports, in which case he had a win two years ago. He has finished well in the points in both the Cup and Xfinity Series while driving for Roush Racing. I believe his 13th place finish at the end of the season was in his rookie season, no less. Now, the funny part is he won at Talladega with the Front Row Motorsports team being pushed by David Gilland a couple years ago before a win could get you into the chase. And what's kind of cool about that is I think that gives this team a chance. Maybe that's why they have him. You know, he is one of the better restrictor plate drivers in the series. He can draft really well, and maybe he can snag a win or at least a very good finish for this team that will probably need it because they struggled to make races last year. And in the case of Dibendetto, he has really no experience, and I think he is more in this series because of money, either whether he is a cheap driver that isn't needed to really be paid too much to drive, or he's bringing sponsorship or money along with him to get a seat. Because to be quite honest, it doesn't seem that there is any real hope for him finishing any better than in the 30s at the best, because really, 21st in the points in Xfinity, he probably was a glorified start in park, probably didn't get too many top 20s if that. And in Cup, he raced last season and he had 33 starts and finished 35th. So a couple years ago, that would be enough to make the race 
but now I don't think it is anymore. So with limited experience in the 83, I can't expect any more success than what was last year, which was struggling to make races. At least in the 23's case, David Reagan Wolf brings experience along with him. I'm surprised he actually took this ride, actually, because I have to think that he had a better opportunity, at least in the Xfinity or the Truck Series, to possibly get some wins. Whereas instead he wanted to stay in cup and he stayed in cup all right. He, he got the bottom of the barrel though. So, you know, hopefully you can get a win at one of these restrictor plate tracks. It's a shame, but this is where all the teams start. So it is what it is. Thank you for watching my first episode of the 2016 NASCAR cup series previews. I hope you enjoyed comment below. If you have any thoughts or opinions on the 32, 98, 23 or 83, whether you think I'm off base or whether I'm hitting the nail on the head. And um, tomorrow I will have the next video in this series and it will go live. And hopefully you enjoy that as well. Subscribe so you know when it goes live. And thank you for watching.